Hello everyone, it's Bambi's here, and today I'll be reading about Red Pandas, Level 1, by Laura Marsh, National Geographic, Washington, D.C. Red Pandas, by Laura Marsh. Guess who? It's the size of a cat, but it's not that. It has ears like a bear, but it's much more rare. It's out with the moon, but it's not a raccoon. Do you need another clue, or can you guess who? It's a red panda. A forest home. Red pandas live in mountains of forests in Asia. It gets cold in the mountains, so red pandas have thick fur all over. Even the bottoms of their feet have fur. All of this fur keeps them warm. Life in the trees. Red pandas are super climbers. They run quickly over branches. A red panda's body helps it live in the trees. Tail, a long tail, helps it balance on tree branches. Feet, fur on the bottoms of its feet, keeps it from sliding on wet tree branches. Claws, sharp claws, grip the trees while it climbs. Wrist bone. This long bone acts like a thumb. It helps a red panda hang on the branches. Panda words. Balance, to stay up and not fall over. Grip, to hold on tightly. Lots of leaves. Red pandas find food in trees and on the ground. They eat lots and lots of bamboo leaves. They also munch on fruit, grass, and mushrooms. Bamboo leaves are a favorite food. Day sleeper. Red pandas dangle their heads when it's hot. Red pandas are active early in the morning and at sunset. They are often active at night too, but they rest in the middle of the day. Panda word. Active, likely to move around a lot. They curl up when it's cold. Five fun facts about red pandas. Number one, red pandas have very long tails. Their tails are almost as long as their bodies. Two, they lick themselves clean, like a house cat does. This is called grooming. Number three, newborns have hardly any fur on their bottoms of their feet. The fur grows as they get older. Four, in winter, they may spend up to 13 hours a day looking for bamboo and eating it. Five, red pandas eat about 200,000 bamboo leaves every day. Little ones, a mother makes a nest out of sticks, leaves, and grass. She will have her babies in the nest. Between one and four babies will be born. They are called cubs. A red panda nest is usually in a tree. Question. What does a ghost say to a red panda? Answer, bamboo. Cubs don't look red when they are born. They are grayish brown. They drink milk and grow bigger. Then their fur turns red. The mother moves her cub by picking it up with her mouth. Something to say. When cubs make a high whistle, whistle, their mom comes running. It means the cubs need something right now. Adult red pandas also make noises. They may twitter, squeak, or snort. Home area. Red pandas mostly live alone. Each red panda lives in its own area. It's called home. Sometimes another red panda stops by, but it won't stay for long. Question. Why are red pandas terrific storytellers? Answer, because they have the best tails. Hide and seek. Can you find the red panda? Red pandas are shy. They hide when a predator predator is near. They blend in with the forest. Their black fur matches the shadows. Their red fur matches moss on the trees. Panda word, predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Red moss on the trees. We are still learning about red pandas. They are hard to find and study in the wild. 
people are trying to save the forest where red pandas live. If we save the forests, we can save their homes. Question: Why did the red panda rob the bakery? Answer: It needed the dough. What in the world? These pictures are up close views of things in the red panda's world. Use the hints to figure out what's on the pictures. Answers are on page thirty-one. Word bank, nest, claws, tail, leaves, trees, fur. One hint. This part is striped like a raccoon. Two hint. Red pandas spend a lot of time here. Three hint. They eat a lot of these. Four hint. Red pandas have this all over. Five hint. These are used for climbing. Six hint. Cubs live here after they are born. Answers: one tail, two trees, three leaves, four fur, five claws, six nest.